Hey, Steven here. You know, I did a video last week uh, basically explaining what I play with, and I got some emails from people saying, you know, I really can't see you, <laughs> and I can't see what you're playing. So today I thought I would go through the bag again so that you can see what I look like, see what the clubs look like, and uh, so that, yeah, you can see everything. As you can see, I'm a Titleist guy. Uh, as I said before, I don't get, played to, I don't get paid to play Titleist. I just think their clubs are awesome, so I, um, I like playing Titleist. I think they look great, and they perform really well. We start with the driver. I play a Titleist 909D3 driver. It's a little smaller head on this one, 440 cc's, and the ball flight is just a little bit lower than uh, one of the other drivers that you might play, a little bit uh, lower center of gravity on those other ones. I've always hit the ball rel relatively high, so I like bring the ball down just a little bit. Plus it's a pretty windy on our golf course, so uh, I try to play the ball a little bit lower. I play a Pro Launch Red Shaft, which is a relatively low spin shaft. So um, works really well for me. Next club is a 909 F2 a fairway middle. I play a 15 and a half degree, they call it spoon here in uh, Sweden. So um, really helps me to launch the ball pretty high got a, a Graffoli red shaft in it as well, which keeps the ball uh, from spinning too much. So I hit the ball pretty straight. I almost hit this as far as my driver. So um, really, really uh, great club. Next is a hybrid 909H, 21 degrees, taking out my three irons. So I put in a 21 instead. Uh, really allows me to uh, get these low spinning balls that we, hit, that we play with nowadays really helps me get the ball up in the air, which I really like. Uh, really easy to hit. I can hit it probably about 235 yards or so, I would say. Move down to the iron clubs, and I play the AP2, which is a forged iron. Um, it's a great looking club. It's a, a little bit bigger cl uh, club head than I've played with in the past, but I, I like the feel of it. It's a really soft feel, launches a little bit higher, and uh, when you miss hit it, um, you, you still get a, re a really good feeling here. Uh, so I can definitely recommend the AP2s if you're in between kind of a, uh, a, uh, a forgiving club and a blade. This is, this is a, a really good club to try. I'm a Vokey man, uh, 52, 56, 60, play middle bounce, I don't have a whole lot of bounce, um, I don't have, uh, I have a 11 degrees in my 56, I guess that's quite a little bounce, but it's not too much. Uh, here in Sweden we, we tend to have soft conditions, so um, clubs that have a little bit more bounce uh, than a low bounce club would be, is, is, is good for my feeling. I like it when I feel like the club can bounce a little bit. But I don't want too much bounce because uh, the bunkers that we have here are uh, relatively shallow, don't, not a whole lot of sand in the bunkers, uh, so the in-between bounce allows me to really work the clubs pretty good. Come to the best putter in golf, in my opinion. Scotty Cameron, Studio Select, Newport, without the line, so I've started a new routine where I actually stand behind the ball to line it up. Always had the line, so uh, it's a little bit different, but it allows me to, to roll the ball on the correct line. This particular club is uh, awesome. It's a little bit heavier, it's got a milled face, and such a nice feel to it. Um, I can recommend it. I play this particular club about two degrees flat, because I like swinging the club head myself a little bit more on an arc. So uh, this, this particular club is awesome. So that's my Titleist clubs. Uh